We'll start off easy. How are the first two days of fall fall camp going? You know, like just coming back, like having, after not playing a long time. You know, you get a little rusty, you got a little kinks and like small things that you got to worry about. But not overall, I feel like I've been doing good, making strides, and like, getting to make a spring, just working on the technical things. You know what I'm saying? So, like, as good as getting ready for the season, so I think I've been doing pretty good. Last year, you were kind of in a, a prove it mentality, right? Of like, I deserve to be on this roster. I deserve to make plays on this roster. And now, you know, you're a little bit more integrated into the lineup, more of an integral piece of the interior defensive line you know what's what's kind of the difference in mentality this year for you there is no difference within the d-line as a defense you know it's still a proof of mentality as a team honestly you know coming in at number 10 in the pac 12 we all got a proof of mentality like you know what it shouldn't be that low we're going to prove why we shouldn't be that low so i think the mentality has gotten better like it's not an improvement it's like a proven and do it more mentality coming this year so did you surprise yourself at how well you played? Um, no, I feel like when you put the work in and you do the, the things while people aren't looking, then it's going to pay off whether you know it's gonna going to sooner or later. For me, I was blessed that it happened sooner. So I feel like that was just something that I took and I was like, you know what? When I put the proper work in, it shows. So why don't I put in more work so I can show even more? You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, the defensive line is probably one of the groups, position groups closest to the media that we get to observe. And over the last year, it kind of seemed like you know Coach Rod would make it a point to get on you like every single practice and motivate you. Um, do you think you know that really helped you reach your potential last season? Yeah, I feel like it makes you challenge yourself to do things better and be more technical and focus on the little things. You know, as y'all saw in practice, he was getting on Rod the same way he got on me and that's just something that you know you got to challenge yourself to take those little things that he's telling you and apply it every day like last year for me he was focused on me not being so head up online and, and making sure I stay on the edge just so I can beat people because you know I'm faster with my quickness for Robbie he's complete opposite to me he's strong as strong as an ox so you know he's got to make sure he can apply that and use it to his advantage because most of the time he'll be stronger than the person in front of him so he knows how to use that properly like he says he'll be unstoppable for us so Rod's talked a lot about trying to make you so a full like three down guy and then to take your run game as good as your pass attacking. So what do you think about just kind of the areas of that that you have maybe developed? You know, I feel like all the things, like, I also want to challenge myself to be a three-down player. Like, last year, I know I can do damage in the past, but now I want to be able to be a, a well-rounded defensive tackle. So I just starts with my feet, you know, being able to mirror the linemen and getting the proper angles, taking the proper angles, and the run, you know, being taken, like, the same way I take the proper angles and pass. It's just a little things that you got to work on every day. And speed was your calling card last year on a lot of those sacks. And how are you adding to your bag to add some more tricks, you know, up your sleeve that you can combat those offensive linemen with? You know, it's, just, it's like Coach Rod is one of those coaches where he gives you so much knowledge. Like every day he'll send to the D-line group chat just different moves from different NFL linemen. Like he sent us a highlight reel of Malik Collins from the Texans. He just sends us different things that how NFL, you, uh, uh, what's called NFL players, like apply that to the game. So it's just like you take those things, you take nits and pieces that you think like you apply to your game and you just took it and use it in practice and whatever works for you, like, you know what, I like this move and you apply it in the game. And if it works in the game, you're like, you know what, this is, I'm going to add this to my arsenal, you know? Appreciate you. Yeah.